E pessoal, se pode trazer no máximo visual, hoje iremos reagir a Caesar slash Kaiser, Angel of the Night by Annie Rapp. A lot of people have told me that this was their favorite song. After reading about Kaiser's character, I can see why. Kaiser, just based on reading about him, might be up there with Elizabeth in terms of my favorite character from the series. So I'm very excited to see what Annie Rap has for me today. Let's get into it. Escute todas as músicas do Trope a ordem de forma cronológica para a melhor experiência. Link da playlist na descrição. Very somber start, which makes sense. Eu nunca tive um pai presente para mim. E eu nunca entendi porque você me abandonou. O mundo sobrenatural um dia apareceu e assim. Foi nesse momento que a ordem me recrutou. Você nunca agiu como meu pai. Mas hoje vejo que o fim de tudo só querer me proteger. Meu pai nunca deixou ninguém pra trás. Protejo todos nós. Sua morte fez eu amadurecer. Mas eu this beginning is absolutely phenomenal it already talks about the themes of protection and what is a hero. Kaiser had many examples of heroes in his life. His father was one of them. And even though he never understood why his father was never in his life, after seeing what his dad did for him and for the entire organization, he slowly understands the sacrifices that his father needs to make. Same thing with Tiago. He died to protect everyone else. So I really like this beginning from uh, any rap. It already sets the tone of what this song is going to be about. <laughs> That chorus from Annie Rap is really beautiful. When it comes to story and character, my favorite aspect of those stories is often sacrifice. That's why I really like Kaiser's story in general. Kaiser was someone who couldn't do the same sacrifices as the people around him. He often struggled with finding that 
confidence, that will to sacrifice for someone else. But the chorus is really beautiful because despite Kaiser being afraid of socializing, being afraid of people, there's still that side of him that wants to save everyone, that wants to be that hero, just like how his father and Tiago was. He is fighting not just for his own safety, not just for his own life, but he's also fighting to honor those who have sacrificed himself or themselves for him and for, for their friends. It's really beautiful and it's also tragic because we know that Kaiser is capable of so many things. He's incredibly intelligent. He understands technology. But because of his inaction, because he always froze, he can't get over the guilt that people have died for him. Really beautiful and tragic, but somewhat relatable, I think. Oh, that's dark. So correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of other themes of Kaiser's story was memory. If I remember correctly, Gal was able to affect Kaiser's memory. So the reason I'm talking about that is because I know that Kaiser came from the same orphanage or like he grew up in the same orphanage, if I'm correct, as other characters like Gal was. Is Gal affecting the memory of what Kaiser saw? Or is this just more like a nightmare? Either way, the idea of forcing someone to see their loved ones dying before them is absolutely so tragic. It's not only the fact that they're just dead, but if I remember correctly, let me look at the lyrics one more time. The bodies of those I love hanging. These are not just people who are dead. They are hung. This could be interpreted as suicide. Even though that the his friends, all the people who have died for him, they died trying to sacrifice him or trying to sac sacrifice themselves for him. However, Gal made this nightmare or this memory a lot more darker. Instead of their death being a sacrifice, he makes this, their death seem like suicide, which affects Kaiser's own emotions. Now he has to maybe think about how his friends just committed suicide for him because, unfortunately, Kaiser is still inactive. He is almost like a burden. That's like the best way to put it. So I really like that. It symbolizes something a lot more darker and something that if, if, if I experience that, and I'm sure if a lot of us experience this nightmare, it would really mess you up. So that's just dark. 
Oh, oh, there, Kion. I was going to talk about something, and then Kion showed up. I think this quote, or what Annie Rap is talking about, I think it's very interesting. Kaiser lived his entire life being afraid of people being afraid of socializing. However, he wants to die being surrounded by people. He wants his last moments to be around the people that he loves, which is just beautiful because this is just showing that Kaiser is growing as a person. He's no longer trying to live solo he's not trying to be by himself he wants to be surrounded by people he understands and has experienced friendship so once again kaiser is probably another character i relate to the most i'm not as antisocial as kaiser but i do understand the emotions that Kaiser feels. Those damn dogs. I apologize if you hear that. But I I do want my last moments to be surrounded by people. Despite me living a life that I just want to be by myself. So. Eu acho que eu quero estar rodeado de pessoas, entende? Você seria o primeiro a ser salvo. E a ironia é que você vai morrer justamente por estar rodeado de pessoas. Eu vou manter todos a salvo. Só quero acender mais um cigarro. Foi mal a tona, vou estar do seu lado. Não é vergonha alguma fugir. Abandone os outros e volte pra casa. Eles vão morrer, mas você sairá daqui. Cala a boca, porra! Ooh. That ending is so beautiful. I love the amount of passion that any rap uses. I want to listen to that again because I just love the energy. I love how the tone has completely shifted throughout the entire song. I'm going to talk more about that at the end, but I just want to listen to this one more time. Oh no. No, I don't want to actually listen to the story. <laughs> uh listening to the actual story is completely different from just listening to the music. I just love seeing everyone's reaction. I love seeing how the actors are handling the situation it's all so beautiful and i know this is going to hurt me Kaiser, 
revivendo todos os momentos que você viveu, enquanto eles vão sendo marcados na sua pele. Qual é a sua última frase antes de morrer? Hoje, eu não sou César e eu não sou Kaiser. Eu sou o Angel of the Night. Hum. Beautiful song from Annie Rapp. I actually had a question about Kaiser's new name. What is the significance of Angel of the Night? I know that's what he calls himself after he gets, you know, after a lot of damage has been done to him. I'm not sure if it was like a memory loss or if it or something happened, but he calls himself the Angel of the Night, and I'm actually very curious about why that name specifically. I'm sure there's some significance. If there's not, that's completely fine. It's a really cool name, but I feel like there's some sort of significance. So if anyone can inform me about that, that'd be amazing. Overall, though, this song was fantastic. Once again, Kaiser is up there in terms of my favorite character the sacrifice and the guilt of being unable to do the same for others is that's something that i can truly relate to and something that i fear for myself but as i was talking about in terms of how the tone has changed throughout the song i love how the song starts with a very somber guitar and then it transitions towards anger as um, Kaiser meets Gal, and Gal shows him these nightmares. And then near the end, it turns into acceptance. It turns into confidence. Kaiser is no longer afraid of the cold. He's no longer afraid of death. The only thing he cares about is being the hero that his friends inspired him to be. Really beautiful, and honestly, this was such a good song for a character that is possibly one of the most, probably one of the most, I don't know how to describe my feelings for Kaiser, because despite me not knowing a lot of information about him, I just really love his character and i know that a lot of people really like kaiser too so i think annie rap did a fantastic song for a character that is really beloved in the community so thank you all so much for watching i'm really happy to react to a lot more uh Orden paranormal it's been a long time since i did my last reaction and i'm happy to listen to the song for an amazing character from an amazing artist. So thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in my next Ordem Paranormal reaction. And until then, Obrigado por assistir. Sabe ordinary? Audi.